understand, first on Fox at 5, the assistant manager for Larry Flint's nightclub was caught in the crossfire outside a popular Metro East nightclub. The fatal shooting happened over the weekend, and Fox 2's Kelly Hoskins is live in Sauge with the latest on this investigation. Kelly? Well, Mandy and Vic, that daily shooting happened here outside of Pops nightclub right here behind me when a fight broke out right here on the parking lot. And when those shots rang out, 41-year-old Elbert Dean was shot and killed. Now his friends and family are trying to come to grips with this horrible tragedy. A St. Louis County family is trying to come to grips of losing their loved one and what they are calling a senseless act of violence. I just love my brother very much and I, I know that he had a lot of people that loved him too. Investigators say 41 year old Dean Ebert was caught in the crossfire trying to help a person to their vehicle outside Pops nightclub in Sauge Saturday morning around 8. A fight broke out between two women and shots rang out and Dean was hit. He just got caught up in the crossfire because he was trying to help somebody to the car they overdrank and uh there's just he was in the wrong place at the wrong time dean was the assistant general manager at larry flint's hustler club and worked for the club for two decades his co-workers say he was liked by everyone dean was the heart of our family and our culture here he was an amazing man someone who always put others before him. He would give the shirt off his back to the person next to him. Ebert died at the scene in the major case squad. Detectives eventually identified two suspects and the St. Clair County State's Attorney Office arrested and charged two women in connection with the deadly shooting. Dean did so much for so many people. He, every single person's lives he touched is better for it. And every single person who knew him has a hole in their heart and soul moving forward without him being around. Now we reached out to Pops Nightclub for a statement in regards to the tragedy. However, we have yet to hear back. Reporting live from Sajay Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.